the caramel one here. Let's try the caramel. Oh my god. And I like the little, like the caramel chips. Mmm. Just like caramel. So good. Mmm. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Disney Hollywood Studios this evening. And today we're actually doing another dining review. Now, you can ask Paul, this will be our first time mm -hmm. that we will be dining at Mama Melrose. Melrose. And from our previous vlogs, you guys can tell that Paul and I are big fans of Italian yes, food. We love Italian food. <laughs> One of my favorites. And we're so excited to try all this delicious Italian food. I know they actually, from my from our understanding, they updated the menu a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping to try some of those new Dining. Italian items. Awesome. So if you guys are ready to dine with us, we're gonna have a manja time. Manja, manja. <laughs> <laughs> Come along with us. <laughs> sat down super excited as we said earlier it's our first time here we were noticing the theme the theming of the restaurant um, and we found out it's a you know of course it's an Italian restaurant but it has like a California flair to it um, but how are the pictures of the celebrities here it used to be back when Hollywood Studios was MGM Studios they used to have a motorcade here and they have celebrities from TV and from Hollywood on the motorcade itself you know, you know, waving to the people, to the fans, yeah. to the guests. I uh, remember that. You remember that? Yeah. And then I was the, a teenager when yeah. that was here. <laughs> and uh, the pictures outside uh, in the lobby area, those were like the uh, photos, uh, portraits of the uh, of the, of the, the headshots. Yeah. Where you, they would hand out, so they would sign them and hand it out to the guests. Yeah, here, so they really can, cool. with their autographs. So very nostalgic yeah. here, you know, it does represent an old time. And I think MGM Studios was the best era during that time in the 80s with Michael Eisner and stuff and oh, you know, him as the president absolutely. of Disney things were a lot different um, yeah. and MGM Studios was a huge park at the time. You know, so it was similar like Universal Studios where you're you know ride the movies it was an actual working movie production studio yeah. MGM so so it does bring back a lot of memories so that's just really cool about the theming about this restaurant don't you think? Yeah absolutely I yeah. love it I remember I was a teenager when MGM first opened yeah. and it was a lot of fun. Yeah. We do have the menu here that we have the fried fresh fried I mean fried fresh mozzarella uh, Marcus is gonna get that that's a new item actually uh, here at the Mama Melrose. Um, I'm probably gonna get the vine ripe tomatoes with French mozzarella also. Uh, they have the crispy calamari, they have house-made Italian meatball, finishoni soup, Mama Caesar salad, and then a margarita flatbread. The entrees here, I heard the strip steak is good, uh, the shrimp campanelli, you have the Mama's Italian pasta, which I'm probably gonna be getting here with the fettuccine. That's a new item also. Uh, Mama's Italian pasta with shrimp, you get it with the chicken also. Uh, Magnus is gonna get the grilled bone uh, pork chop, which is also a new item, item here on the menu. You have the polenta cake mushroom and herb cauliflower. You have spaghetti and meatballs. You have the oven baked chicken parmigiana. And uh, you got sustainable fish. And then for desserts here, you have the tiramisu, you have a gelato, mini uh, cannoli trio, and you have the colors of uh, Italy cheesecake, which I believe is a new item. And you see here, we have the Mama's Cookie to Go. We have blueberry uh, frangipane tart and cherry chocolate cake. That sounds really good. And oh, sorbet, I love that. You know, guys, I love sorbet. And of course, they have a kid's uh, appetizer menu. You can get salad with the with the menu. You have the vegetarian soup for the appetizers for the kids. You have the whole wheat spaghetti, which is very healthy for the kids. Grilled chicken breast uh, and cheese pizza. They also have spaghetti, spaghetti or penne. And then you have a side here. Oh okay, yeah, so really got a lot of options here for the kids. And you have specialty drinks here, which we are going to order some. Uh, we're going to go ahead and show you. We're going to order right now some of the specialty drinks, and we'll tell you what it is. But this is what they have, a cocktail. So really good, really robust menu over here at Mama Melrose. 
for the family, for the kids, vegetarian options, as you saw, are really good. Hey, our drinks have arrived here. Woo! Map has got the Italian surfer here. Yeah. Uh, it is a Disaruno Orange Owl, uh, Parapet Coconut Rum, and Pineapple, and Cranberry Juice here. Oh my god, look at that. So good. That big chunk of pineapple, nice uh, cherry. There, yeah. Look at the colors. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, let me put the straw in there. See how it tastes. And I'm gonna try and see how it tastes, guys. Oh my god. Yeah, are you? Let me tell you. Since it's called the Italian surfer, are you surfing the seas off of Italy? <laughs> I'm already surfing. Look, I'm already surfing. Yeah. I'm mixing it a little bit. It is a sweet cocktail drink. So keep in mind, it is sweet. So if you guys are not into the sweet cocktails, they do have plenty of other delicious yeah, the cocktails that are not this sweet plus they have uh, uh, several wines as Paul already showed you mm -hmm. and uh, you know of course beer and stuff like that so but this is a delicious and another dangerous, dangerous drink, drink. <laughs> <laughs> and can you guys guess what type of drink I got let us know if you can guess what he got you'll probably see it now anyway but of course the mojito, the mojito. <laughs> This is a coconut mojito. So I love my flavored mojitos here. As you can see the color. Oh wow, look yeah. at that. It's nice and it yeah, has like a white color. Like a white color, like yeah. Coconut. It's not a, like clear, so you can see the coconut here. So I'm gonna oh, go ahead and take a sip. That lemon and those mint leaves looks very refreshing. Oops, Ooh, even, even, the ice even, even the ice is coming <laughs> out of it. Yeah, so you can, I can taste the coconut right away with the uh, coconut, uh, the coconut right away. And then with the, um, the, tonic, the soda water of the mojito, that taste that um, with the sugar cane, oh, really good. So good, so very sugar refreshing. cane, uh, very refreshing. And today's not so hot compared to uh, yesterday. Yesterday, in the yeah, we Epcot were at the food Blue festival. Wine. Make sure you guys check that video out. Yeah, stay tuned super for hot. that. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> but it's a nice, delicious drink. I love mojitos, guys. You know that. If you guys love mojitos, the coconut one. They also have a raspberry one. I feel it more tropical, so the coconut is delicious. <laughs> yeah, and they also besides. Having all these uh, beverages, they do have like some watermelon lemonades yeah. and some several other non-alcoholic. Yeah. Uh, what are, what do they call them, babe? Uh, like a mocktails. Mocktails. Yeah. So those good. are really good as but well. These drinks dangerous. <laughs> and here we wow. have the bread service. It's wow! Like look at this bread. bread. Oh nice my warm, god! Right? Oh, it's hot. Kind of yeah. hot. So. Be careful with your hands. Oh, 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 yeah, it's kind of hot. Let me put this down over here. Nice and soft so you guys can see the bread. Oh, wow, look at this. And then we have here to dip it, we have olive oil, basil, oregano, salt and pepper. So very mm -hmm. Italian dip. Very Italian dip. Let's dip it in a little bit, not that too much. For olive oil dipping. I love the olive oil dipping because it makes me feel like it's actual Italian bread exactly, yeah. food. So let's try. Oh my god, it's so soft. Mmm. And that olive oil, seasoned olive oil is really good. Wow, and this breast is so soft, babe. Nice soft. Even I love it, and it's still hot. I'm so like, hot. fresh out of the oven. I'm huh? doing slowly yeah. because it's kind of hot. It's like fresh <laughs> out of the oven. But so far, the bread serve is excellent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now that we're talking about fresh out of the oven, as you guys saw in the beginning of our video, they have a that we love is restaurant with a full open kitchen. You can see the fire inside the oven. The oven, yep. Right and you see the all the chefs cooking. Mm -hmm. And the chefs here are so amazing. They're already giving us suggestions before we even sat down. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. I love I love the hospitality, the hospitality here of the, all the workers, the cooks, the servers, everything. Very magical. So we're gonna start out here with the vine ripened tomatoes with fresh mozzarella as it has the balsamic drizzle over it, olive oil, and sweet basil leaves. Mmm, that looks so good. And I love babe. the combination of mozzarella with the uh, with the tomatoes, and the olive oil, and the leaves. It looks really good. Very nice and refreshing. Magnus also got here Ooh. the fried mozzarella. So this like is I said earlier, this is a new item here. Mm -hmm. uh, it comes with marinara, a ricotta salata, and lemon oil. Mmm, that and looks here. so good. Yeah, Look at that. Nice and fried. Uh, hopefully cheesy. We'll see. <laughs> oh. oh wow, look at how it just like cuts yeah. open and it like melts in Even there. Even though it's fried and it's soft at the oh same Oh my time. god, look at this. Look at this guys. Oh my god. That's really good. Looks good. Let's see how cheesy it is. Ooh. 
Ooh, see that cheese pull. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah? So good. Yeah? I'm sorry, I'm still trying to chew it. <laughs> it's so soft. The outside is just crunchy enough. Yes. Where it's not hard. Because I've had fried mozzarella, but it's been so hard. This one's nice and crunchy, just the right touch. Yeah. And the cheese is so good. And with the marinara sauce, mm. delicious. Can you show us the cheese pull? If there's mm. any cheese pull? I know I mentioned that earlier. You can have it with your hands, see? Because I love it when things are super cheesy. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a thick one right there. <laughs> <laughs> really cool. Recommend it, huh? Highly recommend, guys. <laughs> oh. Time to dig into the mozzarella and tomato. Look Let's see. That. Let's see how it tastes here. Oh, it's nice and cheesy. And cut a piece of tomato with the cheese. Oh, and Paul loves tomatoes, guys, so just let you know. Oh, look at that. That tomato looks really good and ripe. Perfect. There you go. And that mozzarella. Mm. Nice and thick. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Really good. Mozzarella, I wish it was a little bit more flavorful, to be honest with you. But it's soft. Tomato is nice and fresh, and then the basil with the with the balsamic vinegar really good. I was gonna say the basil because you know I love yeah. balsamic everything. Basil leaves. Tomato is excellent. The cheese. You see here? We take another bite. Oh, yeah. Ooh, is that good? I do taste it now, but I just wish the uh, the cheese was a little bit more flavorful, in my opinion. Maybe it come in like with the fried mozzarella. Mm -hmm. So overall, you want something light. Cheese, tomatoes, yeah. with the vin something balsamic vinegar. Something healthier than really fried. Good. And I'm trying to eat a little bit more healthy these days. So <laughs> overall, it's good though. I, I definitely recommend it if you like something light though. So I did go with the Mama's Italian pasta. I got it with chicken here. It's a fettuccine. So it used to be regular spaghetti, but now it's actually fettuccine. Tossed with roasted tomatoes and garlic, artichokes, butter, and white wine sauce, as you can see here. Ooh, Sorry yummy. for the lighting here, guys. But you can see it nice and close. The fettuccine, the chicken, the tomatoes, the cheese here. Oh, oh my God. That, that looks, looks delicious. Delicious. I like the grill on the chicken. Yeah. And then that was, like I said, she did go with the pork chop here. Uh, the grilled bone-in pork chop. It does come with a creamy polenta, rose, rose, let's see, a roasted tomatoes, <laughs> uh, mustard vin vinacotto, and charred Ooh. broccolini. Uh, and, it comes, uh, and it contains alcohol product in here. So yeah, I can tell something yeah. is down here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at the nice grill. Pork it looks so here. moist, and I love that grill. Yes, the grill marks on there. The grill marks on it. Into there. Ooh, the can't wait really to dig good. in. Yes, let's try it. Oh Ooh. wait, 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 and I have to pair it up with oh, a yes. drink. Oh yes, I forgot. Nice. So you guys know me. If nice. I'm gonna have some <laughs> Italian restaurant, I will definitely have. A wine glass, nice so there's a moscato mm -hmm. to pair it up with my pork chops. Nice. Let me cut into cut into the chicken here. All right, as you can see. Oh, that looks really good. Perfect. Let me go ahead and mix it in with the pasta here, with the fettuccine. Oh, that looks delicious. There it's a go. lot. It's a yeah. large portion too, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Mmm. <clears throat> Ooh, that sauce has a little, little kick in very it. Very small, but it came up on me. Mmm, and has tomatoes. The chicken's really seasoned well here. I like the grill marks on here, as you can see. And then the pasta, nice and soft with the tomatoes. You know, and this is a red sauce, so. I usually eat chicken food in you know, a chicken alfredo with the white sauce, but with the red sauce is also really good. Wow, if you like fettuccine and chicken, really good. And like I said, they have the shrimp option also. Yeah. And, they, um, and then just without any meat, just the pasta itself. So really good pasta, I recommend it, definitely. Oh my goodness, look at this pork chop. Mm. Is it soft to cut into? Oh yeah, look, I just cut it already. Let me get a little smaller piece. Mm -hmm to try it first. Wow. Look at that, guys. You see oh, it? Yeah. Nice and cooked. She got it medium well, so. Yeah. I don't like anything that's raw. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not a raw kind of yeah, they meat usually, person. Yeah, usually it comes like medium, but we, uh, we like a little bit cooked the meat, so. Ooh, Ooh let me dip it in this little 
soft here with a tomato and the polenta. It looks like mashed potato more to me yeah. though. <laughs> so good, let's try it. Wow. Mmm. Yeah? And the pork, the pork chop is so soft. Oh, that's all, yeah, I was, gonna, was worried Very about that. Very savory, yeah. good flavor. Seasoned well. Wow, seasoned delicious. And the polenta? The polenta soft. Yeah. Kind of like mashed potatoes. Kind of like a mashed potato mm -hmm. is so good. The tomato is really good. And let me try the, the broccolini here. I got a little bit of the broccolini there. I like the hard part of the broccoli. Let me try a little bit here. So, polenta with the broccolini. Mmm. Broccoli and polenta, delicious. So, yeah, so if you like pork chop, you'll like it, right? You recommend Perfect. it? Perfect. Oh, and before we forget, while we're having dinner, we were just talking about the location of the restaurant. Yes. Because in the beginning, we I got confused with pizza, pizza, pizza rizzo, rizzo, yeah, pizza with, rizzo, which is also here. Yeah. Across from the Muppets, but the restaurant is actually down located the alley. It's like down, down in the alley. Straight yeah, past down. the Muppet. Like and an alley to the middle left. Yeah. So if you're coming from way. Pizza Rizzo, straight across, uh, right next right next to the Muppets, it's like a like an alley. And then you make a right left. behind it's it. Hidden. It's really yeah, well it's hidden. kinda hit, hidden in yeah. a little hidden gem, but I tell you, this restaurant is really fantastic yeah. so far. So for dessert, Magnus went with the cannolis. <laughs> this is a new item on the menu. That's a mini cannoli trio. Uh, one has orange cream, which is right in the middle. The other one has a caramel butterscotch, which is on the left. And a traditional cannoli with chocolate chips garnished with chocolate sauce and powdered sugars on the right here. Very nice. Three triple, and they're triple so cannolis. Cute. You know, very nice, really <laughs> mini cannolis. And then, you know, and then you got the chocolate around the four corners. Mm. Mm. And they smell so, so good, good guys. <laughs> and here I got the uh, cheesecake. Now, this is called the Colors of Italy Cheesecake. Um, it's a lemon cheesecake layered with raspberry marmalade, Ooh. as you can see there, and olive oil. Okay, cake topped with uh, whipped raspberry panna cotta, and it's it's finished with a raspberry basil sauce. Ooh, it's shiny. Garnished with halves of spark, uh, sparkle fresh raspberries. Yeah, they're sparkling. See, yeah, I'm sorry <laughs> for the lighting here, guys, but you can see here. Those raspberries, the raspberries do sparkle here. Really cool. Yeah, and I like it. It is very colorful. Colorful mm -hmm. of Italy. Look at the colors. Yes. Very nice. Ooh, looks, can't wait to dig in. It looks so <laughs> sweet. Yeah. All right, guys. So they gave me this spoon. But these are cannoli, so I don't think I need the spoon. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with the middle one. The this one cream. looks the orange cream. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look at how cool that looks. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Mmm. Yeah. Wow, it tastes yeah. like you're eating a... Like oranges? Mm, you're eating like a full orange. So good. Mmm. This is the caramel one here. Let's try the caramel. Mmm, look at inside, guys. Let me see here. Mm. Oh, yeah. Nice and thick, wow. the caramel. Oh my god. And I like the little, like the caramel chips. Mmm, just like caramel. So good. Mmm, <laughs> I think I like this one better. So far. I don't know, so far. Wow. Now the traditional. Cannoli with the chocolate chip. The traditional with the chocolate chip. Mmm. Mm. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> so, mm. out of the three, what's your favorite? I say one, the caramel. To mm -hmm. the orange, the so traditions. different, and then the traditional, the third. But really all three really good cannolis. It's so good. So you recommend it if you love cannolis? Highly recommend nice. it, guys. This cheesecake looks so pretty. I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't want to, I don't want to cut into it. But well, I must. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take a nice. I must. <laughs> but I must. I got a nice, nice uh, wow. slice here of the raspberry, the lemon, yeah, the lemon. Anaconda here, and then with some of that raspberry sparkle there. Wow! All right, good. Bottoms up. Bottoms up, baby. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. It's not too sweet. It's very subtle. The cheesecake, the lemon cheesecake, mixed with the raspberry here, and then the sparkle raspberries here. Super fresh. I can see the yeah, sparkle. Yeah, you see the sparkle there. Wow. 
Mmm, nice and tart also and fresh. Ooh, really good. It's not a heavy tasting cheesecake, so you like something light with the, you know, with the hint of the cheesecake, the raspberry, really good. Not so heavy as a normal cheesecake. Definitely recommend this. If you want a nice light dessert at the end of, the, of our wonderful meal, of your wonderful meal, you'll definitely like the cheesecake. And I forgot to mention the reason why my cheesecake is so light, because there's a no sugar added to the cheesecake. That's why it's a very light. It's not, a, you know, like the pronounced cheesy, like a normal cheesecake flavor, it's a no sugar added cheesecake that makes it nice and fluffy. Really good. I didn't know. I didn't even know it wasn't uh, had no sugar added. I double checked with my with our server here. Yeah, surprising. Really good. Wow, guys! All so the good. food tonight, this evening was at Mama Melra was fantastic. Everything from the appetizers was great. The fried mozzarella. Even though my my mozzarella wasn't as good. Tomato was the, the tomato was was excellent. Yeah. Um, but it was fresh regardless. Yeah. All the entrees were entrees, all new entrees. Pork chop excellent. Had. Pork chop excellent. Pasta was excellent. But what surprised me was my cheesecake. I did not oh, have yeah. no idea it was no sugar added. <laughs> so it was so light. If more desserts tasted like that, oh, I, wow. I wouldn't need sugar in my desserts. Yeah. But what surprised me even more was that butterscotch. Oh. Uh, caramel uh, cannoli. I oh, tasted it. Oh my goodness. Woo! <laughs> yeah, and the trio, this is actually a new item, but it is seasonal cannolis yes. that they have. Seasonal. We had, we spoke to the chef here. Mm -hmm. Chef Jeremy. Um, Chris brought him out. Thank yes. you, Chris, by the way. Our Excellent great service. <laughs> And uh, he brought uh, the chef out and he was incredible. He gave us a lot of great information about the restaurant, about the way they cook. He even gave me a recipe. Yeah. But it's so good. I mean, it, it is a seasonal cannoli. So mm -hmm. maybe in fall, they might have another new menu. Yeah, they might update the menu so again. So just check again. Mm -hmm. So whatever we ate today might change in the fall again. Because yeah. Disney is trying Always to updating update the restaurant restaurants. menus. Mm -hmm. menus. Uh, according to the chef, this menu ha is brand new. It has not been changed in a couple of years yeah. now. So they're working on something else for the fall, possibly. Mm -hmm. So it's still in the works. Yeah. So it can possibly change. But again, all the food, I mean, the way they prepared everything. Excellent. I mean, he gave us great explanation on, on the yeah. way they do every Everything is fresh. Yeah. And I so, believe and I believe this rest is like a hidden gem because it's tucked yeah. way in the back, you know, right past the Muppet. So. But I, I wasn't aware of it until Magnus told, told me where it was located. I was like, what? I didn't even know there was a restaurant Yeah, back and there. the reason why is no. because if you guys are big fans of Disney, like we are, well, I've, at least me, before Paul, mm -hmm. before Paul moved to Florida, I moved in 89. So I've been coming here for a long time. And this was all the back lot of MGM Studios. Yeah. So that's why it's kind of hidden in the back because mm -hmm. it was closer to the back lot tour. Yeah. That's which why. was before That's why it's but it is an amazing hidden gem great restaurant great Deeming food everything. excellent highly highly recommend, highly recommend. Yeah. so if guys if you enjoyed this video because you know we sure did uh, and you found it useful in any way remember to like share and subscribe. subscribe guys check out our Instagram check out our TikTok it's all under the same name Facebook check out, check out our Facebook check out our socials because you keep up to date post a lot of information on mm -hmm. there and you know it just you know it's a great way to stay connected with us and to follow us that follow way you guys yeah. know where we're at where we're gonna be at possibly <laughs> <laughs> well that's it tonight was a great night tonight was a magtastic night. night thank you all for watching and we'll see you on the next magtastic, magtastic productions. productions bye, bye guys, guys.